He claimed to have sacrificed his presidential ambitions, uh, if at all there was any, twice for Raila and that he had severed his association with him. I wanted to stop there and just remark that Senator Wetangula is the least qualified to talk about team uh, playing if, uh, or to be a team player. First, you remember, as a NASA coalition, we gave him the responsibility to be the leader of minority in the Senate. He was leading a team of 28 senators, and by the time he was being removed for being, an, uh, no, uh, from, uh, being someone who is not a team player, not even a single senator stood by him to defend him, meaning he was on his own and the rest didn't like him as their leader. Who can be a worse team player than that? We want to remind him that history cannot change. When Kenyans were being killed, injured, and maimed in the struggle for the second liberation, Wetangula was busy whining and dining with the then oppressors of the people. Actually, I am reminded of an incident on 15th May 1981 <coughs> when Wetangula was still a student at the University of Nairobi. The students of the University of Nairobi had gone on strike protesting the uh, refusal by the systems then to allow Jaramogu Vigo Dinga to run for a bond of parliamentary seat. Wetangula and other four uh, uh, students went to the media, to the press, and supported the system for denying uh, Jaramogu from exercising his democratic right. Kenyans will remember that he was the oppressor's lawyer representing them against families of those whose loved ones had been killed by the government. When great men and women were elected into the second parliament in 1992, after a long struggle for introduction of political pluralism in Kenya, Wetangula gladly accepted the nomination to the same house to continue serving the masters of the status quo. He had no time for change movements like Ford, which spearheaded the struggle for multi-party system. Wetangula suffers from discerning amnesia. In 1997, when Kenyans were demanding for change, he stuck with status quo and his attempt to win the Sirisa seats were thwarted by angry electorate who re-elected Honorable John, John Munyasia back to parliament on Fort Kenya party ticket. It's only in 2002 when he sneaked into NAC through Fort Kenya to win the Sirisa seat. In 2007, <coughs> we don't know what he did to Honorable Major John Waluke to come back to parliament by literally stealing the votes against ODM candidate. Honorable Waluka then. On 30th of January 2018, when close to a million Kenyans thronged Uhuru Park for the swearing in of His Excellency Raila Molodinga as the People's President, Wetangula turned off his phone and would not be found anywhere to attend the ceremony, which was followed live on television by millions of Kenyans. Actually, it was followed internationally because it was mostly the international press that covered this event. Kenyans vividly remember very well on 27th of January 2018 in Homabe how Wetangula exuded confidence of how he was prepared to go to Urupa for the event only to chicken out three days later saying that he was not ready to be arrested. He is a coward. To claim that His Excellency Raila Odinga betrayed him when he went to meet President Uru Kenyatta on the 9th of March 2018 and later had a handshake with him Wetangula is trying to play the, to the gallery. First, he knows very well that he lacks the political clout to be consulted on matters of national unity, economic growth, strengthening of devolution and reforms. I think uh, he has been babysitted for far too long by being given a name that he doesn't even deserve, or being a principal, to the extent that he thought he was equal to Raeda Odin. Secondly, what Raeda did was in the interest of the stability of the nation, and Kenyans know that. He saved the country from the brink of a precipice. He had been earmarked for arrest and charged with treason. Kenya was bleeding. Nothing was moving. Kenya was at a, actually at a standstill. The Kenya shilling had dropped tremendously and many schools had been closed. He saved Kenya. Many lives were lost. And he saved Kenya. Wetangula wanted Raila to be to arrested, charged and sent to jail so that he could celebrate. Actually, we are aware of the meetings that he, he was holding previously before uh, the swearing in ceremony and even after we are aware that he has been, he has been holding meetings before 9th of march uh, 2018 uh, with a very senior jubilee uh, personality whom we all know uh, the leader of uh, tangatanga group 
and uh, he thought Kenyans were not aware. We want to remind him, tell him that we were very much aware, only that we were tolerant on him. He is not the kind of a friend one needs. Wetangula is the least person to talk about the joy. He does not believe in any values that a politician or this title should hold. Shouting horse in funerals and weddings won't make him a later day saint. His part definitely betrays him. We want to remind Senator Wetangula that a tree is known by its fruit and a man is known by his deeds. A good deed is never lost. He who sows courtesy reaps friendship. And he who paints plants kindness gathers love. He has forgotten so fast how the man he only refers to as Raila today came to his rescue when Honorable Musikari Kombo was about to win in the 2013 senatorial by election in Bogoma. We wish him well in his new endeavors el elsewhere. And as John Maxwell said, people may hear your words, but they feel, uh, but they feel your attitude. I want to conclude the statement by saying that uh, I know uh, uh, Wetangula is very angry because he lost some fat packs for being minority leader in the Senate. But he should understand that events and things happen in this country. And anger will not take him very far. Throwing tantrums like a, a, a primary school pupil will not help Wetangula much. In my view, I think should, the healing process is taking too long. He needs to accept that he's no longer the leader of the minority in the Senate. These positions come and go. But if you don't want to let go, it will destroy you and destroy even your emotions. And what I see of <coughs> Senator Wetangula today is a person who is uh, in the path where his emotions are getting destroyed by the day. Could we ask him to take a moment relax, rest, even take some off from politics. Go rest somewhere so that you can recover fully from the shock that is no longer uh, the leader of the minority in the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you very much. I want to also request... Senator Moses Wetangula, Jana Akiwa Katika Television ya Citizen, na nasema kwamba shida ya Wetangula ilianza tare talatini mwezi wa kwanza kule Urupa. Sisi tunajua vizuri sana, Jana alisema kwamba Raila aliwapatia namba ya Nigeria na hizo story ambazo tumesikia na ni story za uongo. Sisi tunajua vizuri kwamba tare 28 January Wetangula alikutana na kiongozi wa Tanga Tanga Movement wakaagizwa kwamba wanapewa pesa asikuje Urupa. Na hiyo ndio ilikuwa sababu kwa nini Wetangula akuje Urupa. Kwa sababu alikuwa amepewa pesa ya ku, ya kumwambia kwamba akae nyumbani asikuje Urupa kwa pesa raia wake. Lakini hiyo maneno tulisahau. Tukasema kwamba maneno ya Tatiet tumesahau kwa sababu tuko na handshake kati ya Raila Odinga na Uhuru Kenyatta. Lakini kuna dhana fulani ambayo Wetangula anajaribu kuonyesha wa Kenya ya kwamba yeye akijiondoa katika mrengo wa NASA ya kwamba mkoa wa Magharibi basi hauko katika eh, mrengo wa NASA. Ningependa kuambia wetangula ya kwamba NASA is an idea. NASA is not about individuals. So whether wetangula you are in NASA or not, NASA will still go on. Mkoa wa Magharibi bado uko na viongozi kama Sifuna, kama Osoti, kama Kizito, kama Wanjala ambao wako tayari kusukuma gurudumu la NASA. Sasa usitutishe sana na mambo ya wewe kusema kwamba unajiondoa katika mrengo wa NASA. Na mambo ambayo imepatia wetangu la kiburi ni kwamba yeye anasema yeye ni principal. Hii mambo ya principal tunajua principal ambao wako ni wa principal wa shule. Sisi hakuna principal sasa hivi. Sasa hivi tuko na Raila Amolo Odinga na viongozi wengine. So sisi tunasema mambo ya kusema kwamba wewe ni principal, wewe ndio umetoka kwa NASA wewe toka hata mimi kilio kwa sasa mimi kuwa principal <laughs> kwa wa hiyo kiti ambayo umeacha sasa tusikutishe sana na matamshi ya ya yule eh, yule yule mwanamke ama mwanaume ambaye ametoka katika ndoa yake na anataka kuharibia bwana yake ama bibi yake jina mimi ningependa kusema tendea vizuri nenda katika ile ndoa yako nyingine juzi nimeona ndoa kati ya wetangula na Eugene Omar I want to state here categorically 
that a marriage between Wetangula and Eugene Omalwa is synonymous to a marriage between two men which cannot be achieved. So hiyo ni mapenzi ambayo sisi tunasema kwamba haitaza chochote si cosmetic na haitaenda kokote. Sisi tuko nganga na tuko pale kwa mkoa kwa kwa mrengo wa NASA kama mkoa wa Garini. Asante sana. The only thing I want to say is that when Senator Wetangula was ejected from the leadership of the Senate, I was and Celtic. Now I want to ask Kenyans, did you hear any noise when he was ejected? Did you hear any mess? Did you see any mess when he was removed? Did you, hear, did you see any chaos when he was ejected? That is an, a, clarif, a classical example of somebody who was talking to himself. That he had no clout anywhere. That out of 28 or 29 senators of NASA, he only had the support of one senator only. And himself. <laughs> now, I think this issue as has been raised by the senator of principles, principles of NASA. This joke must stop now. We have taken that matter too far. And if there is anything, NASA now should declare a vacancy of one slot of, of a principle, so that the other Kenyans can apply if there is a vacancy. But this job of we are equal, we are equal. how can Wetangula be equal to Raila Odinga? It can't be equal to him in terms of age, in terms of experience, in terms of what he has done for this country, in terms of party leadership. What equal can you prove yourself? You are, you, are, you are a party leader of six members of parliament, like our county of Migori. Then you say I'm equal to Raila. What kind of, you know, you think Kenyans are stupid? I think it's high time the senator comes back to his senses because uh, the joke now he's saying is going to be on the ballot in 2022. Those jokes are over now. Kenyans will now want serious leadership. Now, my final remark is that those members from Fort Kenya, especially my deputy and going forward, if I don't get any letter in the next 48 hours disassociating themselves from the statements of their party leader, action will be taken. If I don't receive letters disassociating from the statement of their party leaders for Kenya, the ones who are holding offices, now the NASA leadership in parliament will take action in the next 48 hours. But I'm giving them up to Tuesday next week <laughs> to distance themselves completely from, from what Senator Otangula has said if they want to maintain those positions they are holding in Parliament. <laughs> Otherwise, it, wherever you go, the minority leader remains John Badi, the deputy minority leader in the Senate remains uh, Malala, the Senate minority leader remains Orango, and I remain Chief Whip Mutia Mokono. I'm going to take action now as Mutia Mokono. You will see. Some of them will, I have to be rolling this Tuesday coming for very Thank you so much. have said that it's now overdue for him to move on and he should not he should stop comparing himself to his excellency Raila Mododinga. Wetangula in Bungoma County where he comes from where we expect him to dominate has nine constituencies. Wetangula has only three. So where are these six? <laughs> Where are these six? Wetangula must be told in one certain terms that you know he has been a minority leader here. He's now going to be a minority leader in Bungoma. We have devolved him. <laughs> we have now devolved him to Bungoma. Not even Western, just Bungoma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mine is to say, Mine is to say, I think it's good riddance that uh, Honorable Botangula uh, has decided to leave the NASA coalition. Because he has been uh, a baggage to this coalition. 
those of us who participated in uh, initial stages of NASA formation, we know very well that it is Honorable Wetangula who even fought the formation of NASA because he didn't want the Honorable Musajia Mudavati to join the bigger NASA coalition. It is after Honorable Raila Udinga talked to him is when Honorable Wetangula agreed that we can now have NASA. So he cannot pretend to be more a NASA than all of us. Secondly, he gave us a hard problem in Western because the agreement was very clear that the principles of NASA who are not presidential candidate or deputy presidential candidate should not vie for any seat. But he went ahead and vied for the seat of Senator Obungoma, giving Jubilee a chance to play propaganda against us. And that is why we didn't perform well in Bungoma. That is the point. So he has, again, was given the seat of the minority leader in Senate. How can a whole principle of NASA take a small seat like the minority leader? So we even helped him by getting that seat from him and giving it to Orengo. And we want to put on notice the leaders, the so-called senior leaders from Luyala, who think that every electoral circle, they will be confusing our people by using our people to play political games to bargain with the opponent. We are not going to accept that. You can see our leaders in the region are here, Honorable Wundo, Honorable Wanjala, Honorable Kisito, Honorable Malala, they are all here. They are all lawyers. Why are they not with the Watangul? Why could he not even get a single senator out of the seven senators from Luyala to support him? He will indeed is popular. So we are saying, Bwana Wetangula with your MPs, in fact, I want to tell you, Mwishmiwa Junet, who is the whip, that it is now time to make a replacement in the position of deputy whip. We have Epo leaders, we have Wanjala here, we have Kizito here. They can also become deputy whip in National Assembly. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to warn Wetangula to stop dragging Raila Amolo Odinga in his removal as the minority leader of the Senate. We, the senators, agreed and removed Wetangula. And Wetangula himself, if he cannot convince even a single lady at the Senate to support him, how can he convince the Kenyans to vote for him as a president? And right now, Wetangula Pambana na Haliyako. You touch Raila Molodinga, I Kwamboka at the Senate, I'm going to deal with you. Because Raila is not of your class. We are ready for you. Try Raila, there with Raila, Kwamboka and the senators, we are going to deal with you. Thank you.